Okay, so leak code question 112, path sum. Given the root of a binary tree and an integer target sum, return true if the tree has a root to leaf path such that adding up all the values along the path equals target sum. A leaf is a node with no children. So we have an example here of a tree and they've highlighted the root or the path from root to leaf node that adds up to give the target sum. So I wouldn't say this is an easy question in leak code. Uh, this is probably more of a medium, but the whole idea behind it is pretty straightforward. So we just need to find a path in this tree that equals to the target sum that they have provided. So we're given the root and we're given the target sum and we need to work out a path that adds up to target sum. So let's look at a potential solution. As soon as we've got a tree here and we need to go from root to leaf, it would either be DFS or BFS. So in this case, we're going to choose the recursive DFS solution. So we're going to be using recursion. And with recursion, we have base cases and we also have a recurrence relation. Now the base case is what pops yourself out of the recursive function because otherwise we'll enter into an infinite loop. And then the recurrence relation is what takes you one step closer to the base case through each iteration. So in this, just imagine like as a sanity check, the tree is null or there is no value within the tree. What are we going to be returning? Well, in the question, it asks you to return a Boolean. So we're going to be returning false. So if root is equal to null, we'll return false. So that is one base case sorted. Now let's think about, say, the recurrence relation. So within this tree, what do we need to pass down? So at this level, what do we need to pass down to this level and this level to this level in order to work out whether the sum is equal to the target? Well, we need to pass down the current sum, right? So let's create a variable called current sum. We'll start off at zero and at each stage, each node will grab the value from the node and we'll add it to current sum. So at this level, current sum is going to be five. We'll go down the left tree. At this level, it's going to be nine. At this level, it's going to be 20. And at this level, it's going to be 27. At this point, we've reached the end. We have a left child and a right child. They're both equal to null. So now we can see that we're at a leaf node and we can create some logic or a current relation to decide whether we've reached our target. So at this point, if the left child is null and the right child is null, we can check to see whether current sum at this point is 27 is equal to target. And if it is, we just return true. And if it isn't, we return false. So what's going to happen here is 27 does not equal 22. So we're going to return back up false. And then we're going to check down the right side of the path because 11 has a right child we haven't checked yet. And at this point, current sum is going to equal 22. So we can update 22 here. We can see that it's a leaf node because it's pointing to both nulls for left and right child. So we check is current sum equal to target? Yes, it is. So we can return up true. Now here's the tricky part. We have to decide at this point what to return, false or true. Well, we're just looking to see if there's one potential solution, right? So we can just return false or true. So this is going to return true because one of them is true, right? So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to say, if left or right is equal to true, then return true. We have left, which is false. We have right, which is true. So this is ultimately going to return true. And then it's going to return true up here. And then we're going to check down the right side. So five at this point, 13 at this point, 13 plus 13 is 26. So we're 26 here. We've reached a leaf node because the left and right child are pointing to null. We can see that 26 is greater than 22. So we're going to be returning back false. Then we can check the right side. So 13 plus four, 17, 17 plus one is 18. We've reached the end of this. We found the leaf node. 18 is not equal to 22. So we can return false. We can return false here. We check at this point if the left tree or the right subtree are passing back true. They are not, so we're going to return false. And lastly, we need to check up here. Is the left tree or the right tree returning true? Yes, it is so we can return true. So that is how you'd solve this solution. In terms of time and space complexity, time complexity is O of N because we need to traverse the entire tree. So we need to go to each and every node. So space is also equal to O of N. And the reason for this is say we have a really, say we have a completely unbalanced tree. So the tree looks something like this. 
Each node has only one child node. So the recursion call would occur n times, so basically the height of the tree, and therefore space is O of n. So let's create our recursive function. We're going to pass in root and current sum. I'm going to call it at the end. Pass in zero as the current sum, because we're going to start off at zero. Carry out a sanity check. So if root is equal to null, return false. Update current sum. So current sum is equal to current sum plus root.val. Simpler way to do this is to just put plus equal. And then we need to do the check to see if it's a leaf node. So if root.left is null and root.right is also null, then we need to return where current sum equal to target sum. So here, this is going to return true when current sum is equal to target sum. And here we need to pass back up the tree, whether the left side or the right side is true. And this is where the recursion will occur. So return recurse, we're going to recurse on the left side, current sum, and it's going to check whether that is going to pass back true. And we also need to recurse on the right side and check whether that returns true. Okay, and then we can check to see if this is correct. It's been accepted, let's submit it. And there you have it.